do you have a special Ghostbuster fan in your life and you're looking for that one very special Christmas boutique gift item this year? Well, it's available right now and we got a copy. Yeah, today we're taking a look at the brand new Ghostbusters Ectomobile Owner's Workshop Manual from Inside Editions. It's part of the, the Haynes Workshop Manual series. And I'm excited to tell you guys all about it because there's so much good stuff in this book, you won't believe it. Now, the creative minds, the writers behind this book consist of Troy Benjamin, who is a longtime Ghostbusters fan and huge member of the community. And he's been paired up with Mark Summerack. Along with that, there's going to be illustrations inside, and those illustrations are going to be by Ian Moores. Now, before I crack this open and give you guys an inside peek, let me tell you this book is 150 pages thick. The first 100 pages are dedicated all to the original Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters 1 and Ghostbusters 2, both theatrical films. And it doesn't stop there. If you're a fan of last year's reboot, Ghostbusters Answer the Call, there's about 50 pages dedicated to that as well. So no matter if you're just an original fan or if you're a fan of both, this book, it, it's got something for everybody. So let's tear it, oh, oh, beautiful green, just slime. Now one of the first things you're gonna see when you pop open the book is an introduction by Dr. Raymond Stantz. The introduction is well written and full of excitement, exactly what you'd expect from Dr. Ray Stantz. I especially love this rare shot of Dan Aykroyd on the left-hand side. The first piece of equipment we're gonna see is of course the classic Ecto-1. And I must touch on the fact that uh, not only is there a beautiful illustration here, it also touches on what all of these pieces on the vehicle are. Uh, this is actually really cool too because a lot of the fan-made or I guess the fan named pieces that are on like the Ecto-1, on the Proton Pack, they're actually kind of canon now because of this book. And speaking of canon, this book is like 100% in character. It's not like Ghostbusters was a movie made in 1984. This book is written like Ghostbusters was 100% real. It's not a movie, it's like an actual thing. God, that'd be an awesome world to live in. Speaking of those characters, Peter, Ray, Egon, Winston, uh, there's actually little post-it notes all throughout the book here where they kind of give their two cents on the Ecto-1 and, and other items that they're talking about within the book. And the writers did a great job on these because it really taps into each character's individual personality. Now the Ecto-1 is a huge feature in this book. They talk briefly about the history of the vehicle, details about the logo placement, lighting, the roof rack, heck, even the interior. Really, every single square inch is covered. Heck, even the red thing that sits on top of the Ecto-1 known as the Sniffer, it gets its own two pages. Now, after the Ecto-1, we switch gears to the Proton Pack, including a detailed breakdown of all the pieces on the pack and wand, along with high quality images of the pack in action. And once again, all those names and terms that fans have been using for years, they're totally in here. Now after the Proton Pack, it's pretty much like a free-for-all for props. We're talking the Ghost Trap, the Containment Unit, even the Bacharach 300 Series Sniffer, that's the thing that Peter uses when he's in Dana Barrett's apartment building. And of course, the PKE Meter, Egon's favorite. It even tells you how to operate the PKE Meter and also a couple of the different modes that it supports. Now the Ecto-1 did make a return in the 1989 classic Ghostbusters 2 and of course, what would this workshop manual be without a whole feature on the Ecto-1A? Yeah, caution stripes everywhere, the no-go showing the peace sign. This thing was loud, but oh, so awesome. And while I know Ghostbusters 2 is not as loved as the original film, the Ecto-1A feature in this book gets the same amount of attention as the original Ecto-1 shown, with a breakdown of all the new pieces added to the Ecto, including that really busy roof rack. Man, I'm just looking through this book right now and I came across this great shot of Winston and Ray with the Ecto-1A. I, I don't think I've ever actually seen this one before. There is some really cool gems inside this book. Hey, quick question. You like slime? I hope you like slime, because right now we're gonna be taking a look at slime blowers. I know I'm saying this a lot, but once again, we get a full breakdown of the slime blower. I mean, we're talking the tank, we're actually talking the, the actual slime blower, like gun with the nozzle and the slime and air input LED indicators and the rotating air valve handle and the bicycle grip. I love this book. Slime Blower is given a four page spread along with the Gigameter, Ecto Goggles, and finally, Flight Suits. Now I really love that they use not only photos that they took back in the day, but recent photos of some of these props and actually how they've aged. Like the shot of Harold Ramis's Ghostbusters 2 Flight Suit. Now, when it comes to Ghostbusters and it comes to films, there's one more Ecto that we've not touched on yet. And that is of course, the Ecto-1 from last year's Ghostbusters reboot, 
Ghostbusters answer the call. Yes, inside of here, the brand new Ecto-1 gets more than 20 pages of coverage with factoids about the vehicle itself, what's on the hood rack, what's inside the car, and heck, they even talk about that super awesome little Ecto-1 ghost hood ornament. Ghost hood ornament? You the real MVP of Ghostbusters 2016. I love this thing. I also love this thing. And since we're talking reboot, there's also post-it notes left from Abby and Patty and Holtzman and, and Aaron, uh, much like the original four guys from the first two films. The book also features the brand new Proton Packs, and this goes into great detail. In Ghostbusters Answer the Call, there were three different particle accelerators shown, and this covers all three of them. The one Holtzy used on the subway, the actual pack that busted mayhem, and then, of course, the pack they used in the final boss battle when they took on Rowan. Man, there is so much stuff in here. Um, also featured are things like the brand new Ghostbusters Ghost Trap, the PKE meter, and also a few quick mentions of things like the Proton Pistols, the Proton Glove, the Proton Shotgun, Proton Grenades, and even the Ghost Chipper. They also put in a brief mention of the Ghostbuster uniforms featured in Ghostbusters Answer the Call. I love this little post-it note here from Aaron. It says, because when I think of strong, confident women, the first thing that comes to mind is always a shapeless brown sack with glow tape on the boobs. Now, the last vehicle featured in this book is like the greatest Ghostbusters vehicle of all time. I don't think anything will ever beat it. It's like the best thing ever. Of course, it's, uh, it's Kevin's Ecto-2 bike. I'm sorry for saying that. But oh my god, I'm so happy they included this. It's so awesome. There's like up-close shots of like Kevin's hand-drawn no ghost logos and everything. And to close out the book, we get an afterwards from Dr. Jillian Holtzman in typical eccentric Holtzman fashion. Wow. Seriously, guys, this book is a can't miss. It is available right now. Uh, check your local bookstore. If you want, we got a link right down below in the description where you can buy it at today. Once again, can't miss, just fantastic in every sense of the word. We'd like to thank Inside Editions, the guys behind this book, for sending this one over for review. You guys are awesome. You've always been awesome. How awesome are they? Well, they even sent this over our way. Uh, this is a poster, obviously, to help uh, promote the brand new Ghostbusters Workshop Manual book. But you'll notice there's a little signature right down there. That's from Ghostbusters director Ivan Reitman. Inside Editions, thank you. This is certainly going to go on the wall back there. So you guys are probably going to see this uh, continuing in, in future videos. So that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, as always, I'll see you right back here next time on Ghostbusters News. Between now and then, go out and buy this book. You brought your checkbook, you might want a warranty in case it happens down the line. Everybody's going down in time. Remember, you are not alone. Got a problem that needs solving. Just pick up the phone. They'll answer down that number.